Uh, I'm Simon Maxwell. I used to work here. Um, I'm delighted to see you all. Thank you all for coming to this celebration, the celebration of the launch of this book, uh, for which you have a flyer on your desk, Knowledge, Power, Policy and Power in International Development, a practical guide, written by uh, Harry Jones, who's in Nepal and is going to be beamed in, uh, Nicola Jones, who is sitting over there, Louis Shackson, who's here, um, and David Walker, who is over there. And what's really impressive, apart from the content, which is brilliantly impressive, is that they've managed to disguise who wrote which chapter <coughs> of this book, so you can't guess. So we might have a quiz at the end to see um, who wrote which bit. This is obviously a topic that we're completely passionate about, all of us <coughs> who have anything to do with ODI, because we define ourselves as a think tank whose mission is to bridge research and policy and to make change happen. And certainly since I left ODI three years ago, today, actually, uh, that's exactly what I've been trying to do in the world. So I'm fascinated to see how the debate has gone forward. Uh, we'll be on the record. Um, we have uh, four speakers, each of whom will speak for about 10 or 12 minutes, I hope nearer to 10 than 12, but not more than 12, who will be in order. Uh, Louise Shackson, who is a research fellow here in the RAPID program, Harry Jones, uh, also coming in from Nepal, uh, Phil Davis, who's an old friend of our team at ODI. Um, who now is the European Director for the Impact Evaluation Group 3IE, which we know well and um, is in charge of systematic reviews, which is a topic also which we are very interested in. And Tony uh, Dogby from Uganda, who, uh, from Ghana, sorry, who is Managing Director of Participatory Development Associates and has come in specially for this meeting and we're extremely grateful and look forward to hearing what you have to say about this. And then we have a discussant. Uh, at the end, Annette Boaz, who is currently a lecturer in translational research at King's College London, but is moving shortly to St George's. Now, uh, we're on the record, um, and that means that anything you say will be taken down and used in research-based evidence uh, <laughs> against you, <laughs> evidence-based policy-making against you. And some people are watching us uh, by video link, and they may send in questions to this um, this iPad, which uh, I will nice. then feed into the conversation as we go. When we come to the discussion after these presentations, um, I will ask you perhaps to say something rather than ask a question so that we have a conversation about this topic. Uh, and um, we have an hour and a half in total, I think, is that right, uh, uh, to finish this. Um, and I'm really looking forward to hearing what you all have to say. And Louise, you're first.